Hello crafty friends, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Laura and I create all the videos here for Crafty Not Shifty. Today we are going to be making a no sew sock gnome. I know these are kind of everywhere right now all over YouTube but this is a little bit of a tradition that I kick off the Christmas season with a no sew sock creature. We've had snowmen and penguins and bunnies in the past so here we go, here's this year's. I took a white sock and added some rice to the bottom. This is totally optional, it's just to add a little bit more stability and a bit of weight to this item. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it full of stuffing. I'll have a link in the description below to where you can get some toy stuffing, but you can also just use some old stuffing from an old pillow or a cushion or whatever you have laying around. You could also use rice the whole way through this, but it does take quite a lot of rice. So once you have the desired height and width, I guess, of your gnome, you wanna go ahead and seal off the top using an elastic band. This is what I've always used. I haven't had problems with these snapping and I've had a few of these for a couple of years now, um, but you can definitely reinforce everything with some hot glue if you want, or if you wanna add some sewing to this project, you could add a couple stitches. So now I'm just aggressively grabbing the face of my gnome to add a nose. You want this to be nice and big and chunky. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy sock to add the clothing, I guess. Most of this does end up getting covered up by the gnome's beard, but I think it's nice to have this on there. So I just cut off underneath the heel and added that toe section to the bottom of the gnome. I added a little cutout for the nose to sit underneath and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down using hot glue. I'm also adding a little hot glue to reinforce that closure at the top, just in case that elastic band does snap at any point. So then I'm gonna add some glue and stick down the clothing portion of this sock. It's gonna get covered up so you don't have to worry about it being too neat, but this will just help it stay in place over the years. Then I'm taking the remainder of the sock and I'm going to go ahead and pull that down to create the gnome's hat. You want to make sure you pull this down as close as possible to the nose. And for this one, I went ahead and stuffed the hat. So it was actually kind of like a pointy upright hat. You'll see I make these gnomes in a couple different ways. So you've got a few examples. Then once that is stuffed, I'm gonna go ahead and seal the top with another elastic band. And I'm going to create like a little uh, bubble hat, I guess, at the top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten it nice and securely, making sure there's roughly an even amount sticking out the top of the bubble or the elastic. <laughs> and then I will add some cuts to that to create the bubble effect. First, we're gonna add a gnome beard. For this, I am using a mop. <laughs> this is a mop head that I picked up from Poundland. It actually comes two in a pack. One is like a string mop like this, and one is like a fabric mop. I trimmed off some of those strands and I'm cutting them in half because they're pretty long and I don't need them to be that long. Then I'm gonna take my hot glue. You could also use fabric glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that all around the nose. I'm using a finger protector. If you watched my last video, you know I recently suffered a hot glue gun burn. So <laughs> it's definitely in my mind to be extra careful with the hot glue. So I'm using a finger protector so I can just press the uh, strands into place into the hot glue without a risk of burning myself. So you're probably thinking, mm, doesn't look like a, gr I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's not great. What is really magic about these beards is when you go and unravel the uh, the mop, the strands of the mop that you've got here. So I will fast forward as I do that. They unravel really easily and occasionally the odd strand might come unstuck because you've unraveled it from kind of the, the grouping that it was in. So you can just go ahead and glue it back down. But it looks really great because of the uh, wave pattern that's left in the string because of it being wound around itself. It just looks great. It makes for such a cute beard and so cheap. I made a few of these and I still have a ton of the mop left. So I gave the beard a trim and that is the first gnome done. I'm gonna go ahead and make three additional gnomes. 
for this one here I'm using a similar technique with the mop only this time I decided to add the strands of the mop first I felt like that would be a little bit easier to add them around the nose and then add the kind of clothing section of the sock and the hat for this one I'm using a um, blue and grey sock <laughs> and um, I'm going to use that same colour for the bottom section and the top section and I'm just gluing that down and then adding the hat and you can see again how cute this beard looks once you unravel it. So I do have this sped up so you can just see a few different examples. For the next two I'm going to create the beard in a different way but you can see for this one here I'm making the hat a little different. So I rolled the cuff of the sock and placed it over the top and then just folded over the top of that sock piece and added a elastic to the top. So that instead of having that like pointy up hat, this one has like a fold over hat. So for this next one, I love the color of this sock that I'm using for the hat. I used a white sock for the body and then I'm using this red, white and green. And oh, I love it. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Crafty Not Shifty, you will have seen what my Christmas tree looks like this year. And you may have seen last year's Christmas tree decorating video as well. I love these colors. <laughs> I think they're it's Christmas to me. I love the bright colours. I'm never going to be the kind of person that has like a fancy, all one colour, really elegant tree. No, no, no. So for this beard, I'm using some Mongolian fur. It's faux fur, obviously. Um, and I'm creating a little moustache. This is a rectangular piece of fabric and I've brushed the fur to either side from the centre and then just pinched the edges and secured them with some hot glue. And then I'm sticking that down over the top of the beard piece. I think the moustache is my favourite. <laughs> I love how that one turned out. And then for this final one, again, very similar, I'm adding the toe section of a white fluffy sock. And I picked up most of these socks from Poundland. I think I got some from um, B&M as well. So I got, you know, really inexpensive socks. It's a great time of year to get them. And the white socks that I used, I think I got a pack of five from Poundland. So really inexpensive. And I just love the colors and how these turned out. So I appreciate this kind of video is all over the internet right now or at least on my feed for the type of stuff that I watch but it's tradition for me to add a no sew sock animal to my collection for Christmas so I hope you enjoyed these gnomes. On screen right now are a couple more videos you might enjoy. If you haven't already seen them go ahead and click on the thumbnails to be taken to the video and I hope to see you back here again soon.